Most 511 stuff just rocks. Well built, good colors, excellent quality, reasonable price points. Just like this previously reviewed, highly recommended, still LBE vest by 511. Comes in a flat dark earth and black as of 2010. OD was produced at one time or another. I have an OD one, love it. Great vest, I'll use it in the future, I've used it in the past. And I think like a lot of 511 stuff, it rocks. Um, I think their pouches rock as well. Um, all their accessories, not all, and that's kind of what this video is about. Um, their pouches are excellent. They have that slick stick attachment system. Um, you know, not a lot of variety in the colorations. Like we talked about in 2010 SHOT Show visit with 511, they keep the colors very basic because they can keep the prices basic. They're very big on maintaining their uh, high value option for LE and military operators. Great stuff. However, this is a negative data point for 511. That's right. It's very rarely that a manufacturer can get everything right all the time. It's pretty much impossible. Witness the LBE holster. Yep, riding right there. And when I saw them come out with a holster, I was pretty stoked. I was like, oh, that's great. Another holster option. Uh, granted, maybe not my preferred orientation. Here they are right here. Got a couple in the project, actually. Uh, didn't actually go out and run them because I don't have to. Uh, I'm going to tell you why. Uh, and I will say right up front, the LB holster by 511, not recommended in the Nut and Fancy project in its current version. So sorry. Colors are fine. Okay, let me cover the good stuff. The colors are excellent. I mean, the flat dark earth, there you see it right there. Same coloration as the vest as you've seen before. Construction stitching, superb. Like all 511 stuff. The slick stick Molly attachment system, I've always liked it. It's very quick. They use very rigid straps that you can just thread through easily. Um, they thread tight. There's no issues with them, and they're fast. All that's good. The price point is excellent. It's a $20 holster. You'll see in the annotation where I recommend to go get your 511 stuff. Tell them nothing fancy sent you. Maybe I'll work a special or discount later on. It always helps, though, when you guys say, yeah, nothing fancy sent me. Then when I call them, they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll totally do 10% off, 15% off for your viewers. All about saving you money. Okay, so that's the good stuff. Uh, also, I guess you could say it's good in that it takes lighted pistols and uh, unlighted pistols. In other words, I'm talking about a weapon-mounted light. This is a SIG P226LR. You see me shoot it a lot in the project. It's just the gun I had handy. Um, that's good. But it kind of goes downhill from there. Okay, and it goes something like this. First and foremost, uh, the orientation horizontal okay I don't prefer that that's a personal preference usually you guys know I like running horizontal holsters and my favorite for the longest time and it's going to be the comparison kind of the touchstone comparison against the LBE version by 511 is the TAC Force this one right here you see me run this like tons I have different colors they're so cheap I mean you should own a bunch of them I hope TAC Force keeps making these they're one of the very few options out there here's an OD one okay that's horizontal attachment which I prefer and getting back to a little bit of philosophy I just like running my pistol integral with my LBE whatever that is you know a lot of guys are like that I'm nowadays running horizontal on the chest I know some dudes like it vertical like this and I was thinking okay let me check this out the LBE holster okay so orientation vertical I don't prefer it some guys might um, here's some downs um, some other stuff that I don't dig so much it's fully hoop lined Okay, you see all this stuff in here? That is Velcro, the hoop side of Velcro, and it's completely lining the holster. Why is that bad? Burrs, weeds of all kinds are gonna embed themselves in that holster. Good luck getting them out. They go in deep, you're gonna to have to get in some uh, you know, sharp nose pliers to fish them out. Uh, also, it's gonna hold dust a lot. I mean, we get dirty in our shoots. You know, the tactical shoots done in the Nut and Fancy Project, we're in the dirt. You know, I think oftentimes as you would be anyhow you know, in real tactical shooting. You're gonna get dirty. That's just gonna get absorbed by that hook portion of the Velcro and stay in there. You're gonna have to wash it out. It's gonna fur up over time. I don't prefer it. Also the holster, or actually the gun retention method, I do not like. It's interior to the holster and there's a metal snap right there. So as you put your SIG or whatever gun in, here you go past that metal. Scrape, scrape, scrape. See what I'm saying? coming out, scrape, 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 you're gonna be ruining the slide of your gun. You know, do I care about that? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't mind using my guns. I don't mind getting them, you know, worn from honest wear, but I don't like gratuitously scratch them up. To me, that's gratuitously scratch them up. Why do we have to retain it that way? 
Okay, I don't like that. Metal inside the holster is always unpreferred unless I just have no other option. Sight channel protector there, that's good, I like that. Secondly, it is not a one-handed holster. Okay, I was hoping that it would be, but attaching this, I guess you can do it one hand, but doing it while it's on your vest, under stress, good luck. Um, you might be able to do it. Snap, okay, you got it snapped, but then the snap isn't that secure. Off it comes, it's not a really secure snap. And this might be just this batch, to be honest, but I don't like it. Uh, it hold on, there's more <laughs> that I don't dig. Uh, you have to adjust it for each pistol. Okay, in other words, in a tactical shoot that we do here in TMP, I'm always changing handguns. I might be running a Glock with a light, you know, and then I'll go to an FMP9. Maybe I'll go to the SIG later on in the day, and it's real difficult having a holster like this, you know, and I was hoping it would be universal and easily adjusted. It's not. What you're going to have to do is get the Velcro adjustment tool included, by the way. I have it here somewhere. It's just a piece of plastic included. I don't know where to go. I'm not going to waste air time to find it. Here it is. Got lots of stuff around here. Okay, so you'd use that, you know, and, you know, affect adjustment of the straps on the interior. Not a big deal, but it takes time, and time is a, you know, precious commodity out in the chute. I don't like that. Okay, I told you I was going to use a TAC Force as a represent, representation, what I do like. Okay, the downside on the TAC Force, of course, is it's two handed, it has a fast tech style clasp there. I've said this before in other reviews, shooting adventures that we've shown on camera, it takes two hands. That's about the only downside though, the only downside. Notice on the interior, there's no Velcro. It's sewn and quilted ballistic nylon. It will accept, you know, your handgun without a light, your handgun with a light, with no changes whatsoever to the holster. How sweet is that? So if you want to run your SIG without the light, awesome. Here comes a Glock 17 with the TLR3, previous reviewed, highly recommended by me in the project. By the way, you know why that's taped in uh, black electrical tape? A little tip from Nothing Fancy. Anybody figure that out? Carbon fouling from shooting it. To clean it, all you do is unpeel the tape, you got a clean light, as opposed to using, you know, gun cleaner and all that other stuff. It's just a quick way to get your light clean. Back to the holster. Here you go, Glock 17 with a TLR3. Pretty much any other weapon light will fit. Oh, and you see that? I need to adjust it. This is how quick the adjustment is on the tack forced. Snap, pull, done. You just have a universal holster. Great holster. Great holster. Oriented horizontally. Guys may like that. They may not like it. I love it. Um, doesn't adjust that quickly. Now, this is a strap that comes out in the 511 LBE holster. So you have that coming through there and attached there for guns without a light. I find just with some tabletop playing around that that's not really necessary. You can just leave it unattached and it, it works just fine. Also notice that it's not flat. It's kind of bulky compared to the TAC Force. See that? It is a continuous thickness all the way across. Does it really matter that much? Probably not, but I just dig it better. Uh, this system I'm talking about. All right, this is a Blackwater plate carrier, discontinued, made for Blackwater uh, years ago by Uncle Mike's. It was like 20 bucks from Botac years ago. What a great buy that was. Has some fast attack plate carrier, class three soft armor plates in it. Loaded up with some 223 shotgun, pistol mags for a certain purpose. Anywho, gonna demonstrate the last point to you. I generally, like I said previously, love running a horizontal holster. It just works for me the way I shoot. Not a lot of guys do that, I know. I love it though. It's a one-stop shopping for your tactical vest. But let's say you do want to go vertical, kind of like the orientation is on the LBE holster from 511, right? This one right here. Well, I think, and I've seen a lot of dudes do this, I think it's great. It's a total viable way to carry your gun vertically. Use your magazine pouch. Okay, I'll pull out these magazines. Where's that SIG? Here it comes. Safety check gun, of course. And there it is. Now it's having an interference with this gun because I wouldn't be running both of them. Vertically in a mag pouch. Does that work? Yeah, it works. I've sh I haven't shown that on camera a lot, but I've sh shot that way a fair amount to know that it's a totally, you know, workable way to carry your gun. Simple too. You know, in a dedicated mag pouch, preferably a double AR-15 variety one. You know, how is this any worse than this? About the same. 
So, you know, pretty much what I'm saying, I guess, is least now, subject to change as I get more experience, is, is number one, I prefer the horizontal, horizontal orientation, and if I do it, it's going to be one just like this. The only way this holster could be improved, and I'm talking the Tac Force Web Tac Horizontal Holster, is have a one-handed retention, maybe a bungee. So you could throw the gun in, bungee the back of the slide, you're done. But it wouldn't be as secure as the current system, which I actually don't mind, and that is a fast tech style buckle. It rocks. But getting back to the subject, the 511 LBE holster is a miss for me. It just is, for all the reasons I've talked about. The price point is great, the quality is outstanding, as are pretty much all 511 products, but the current design is a turnoff for me. Not recommended, sorry. That's the truth as I see it. Nothing fancy, signing off. See ya.